In order to verify an expected death, you will require the following. Stethoscope, pen torch, a sharps box if removal of subcut fluids, etc. is required, a watch with a second hand, relevant documentation, black ink pen. Using a stethoscope, pen torch, and a watch with a second hand, establish that irreversible cardiorespiratory arrest has occurred. All the signs of death should be observed before death is verified and recorded. These are, the patient is unresponsive and no vital signs of life, i.e. movement, coughing, swallowing for a minimum of one minute. No carotid pulse palpable for a minimum of one minute. Absent of heart sounds over one minute using the stethoscope. Absence of respiratory movement over one minute. Fixed dilated pupils which do not react to light, determined by shining a pen torch into a patient's eyes and observing for any change in shape or size. This should be repeated in both eyes. No response to painful stimuli, verified by application of pressure to the nail bed for 10 seconds. Any uncertainty or spontaneous return of cardiac or respiratory activity should prompt the procedure to be repeated after five minutes. The times will need to be documented. You should record the clinical observations using local documentation, which you need to be familiar with. This should include identity of any person present at the death, if the patient was alone, who found the patient, the time and date of last observed breath, time and date of verification, place of death, clinical signs of death and observations, signature, print name and role of registered nurse verifying death, people involved and contacted, GP, undertakers, out of hours services, relatives, staff, nurse verifying, when and who contacted them. Perform laying out duties if required. Assessments completed. Appropriate documentation and handover.